Service Civil International is an international non-governmental voluntary service organization and peace movement with 43 branches and groups worldwide. The organization was founded in 1920 by Swiss engineer Pierre Serrezole. It is also known as International Voluntary Service in a number of English-speaking countries and as Voluntary Service International in Ireland. Aims SAI states to base its work on the following values Volunteering, in the sense of acting out of self-initiative, without seeking material reward and for the benefit of civil society, as a method and a statement for social change, whilst never competing with paid labor nor seeking to contribute to strike-breaking Non-violence, as a principle and a method Human rights, respect for individuals as stated in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights Solidarity, international solidarity for a more just world and solidarity between human beings at all levels Respect for the environment, and the ecosystem of which we are a part and upon which we are dependent Inclusion, to be open and inclusive to all individuals who share the aims and objectives of the movement, without regard to gender, race, color, religion, nationality, social status or political views and any other possible grounds for discrimination Empowerment, empowering people to understand and act to transform the social, cultural and economic structures that affect their lives at all levels Cooperation, with local communities as well as other local, national and international stakeholders to strengthen the positive potential within civil society as a whole. Sai believes that all people are capable of living together with mutual respect and without recourse to any form of violence to solve conflicts. It organizes international volunteer projects all over the world because it believes that peace can only be built if people with different backgrounds and cultures learn to cooperate and work together. History Sai was born out of a passionate search for peace, immediately after World War I taking part in the first international conference of the Fellowship of Reconciliation in 1920 in Bilthoven. Pierre Serrezole, a Swiss radical pacifist initiated a peace project with volunteers from different countries in France. From Reconciliation to Emergency Aid 1920. The first international work camp took place on the former battlefield of Verdun France, in 1920 in order to reconstruct the war-damaged village ESNEs and Argonne and being a symbol of reconciliation between France and Germany. Among the small group of international volunteers were also three German volunteers. They built temporary homes for the villagers and cleared the farmland. In 1924, Serrezole organized a second international work camp in Les Ormonds, Switzerland, which helped to clear rubble after an avalanche. This service was promoted as a model service for conscientious objectors, in order to support a political campaign to introduce an alternative service. In the following years more relief services were organized. The largest has been in 1928 in Liechtenstein with more than 700 volunteers from 28 countries, which cleared the Rhine Valley Plain after a heavy flood in 1927. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Evolvement in Social Commitment 1931. In the first decade of SAI, work camps were used relief services for regions affected by natural disasters. In 1931, the SAI idea evolved and the concept of work camps with international volunteers were applied in other areas of social commitment. Community development During the economic crisis of the coal mining industry in Wales, a work camp was organised to restore self-confidence in distressed mining town of Brynmore, Wales, Great Britain. Volunteers and unemployed men build a swimming pool and lay out a public park. Developmental aid. In 1931, Serrezole got acquainted with Gandhi, who invited him to bring Sai to India. In 1934, he travelled to India in order to organise work camps for a region affected by the 1934 Nepal Bihar earthquake. This project was repeated in 1935 and 1936. Further development aid projects followed after World War II. 
Humanitarian help. In 1937, Psy was mandated by a group of aid organizations to give humanitarian help for refugee children during the Spanish Civil War (1936–1939). Evacuation services and food and clothing distribution were carried out in the part of the Spanish Republic. Twenty years later, humanitarian help was given to war orphans in Tunisia during the Algerian War (1958–1962). Besides those two projects, humanitarian help never got any further importance in Psy. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> International Organization 1948. Since 1920, Psy organized work camps and activities with no formal structure in France, Switzerland, Great Britain, India, and other countries. As the IDEA work camps expanded to other countries after World War II an international association of Psy branches with an international secretariat in Paris was founded. The volunteer exchange and work camp organization were improved such as set up volunteer insurance. The number of work camps and volunteers increased tremendously. 1,947 to 46 work camps in nine countries. 1968 to 298 work camps in 24 countries the number branches increased similar in the 60s regional coordination structures for africa asia and europa were set up topic <laughs> north south and development aid 1950 In 1950, Psy was invited by the recent independent India in order to carry out construction of houses for refugees in Faridabad India, and a small group of international volunteer was able to recruit many local volunteers. The conflict between India and Pakistan inspired them to organize work camps in Pakistan since 1951. As consequence, several local branches and groups of Psy were founded in Asia. Confronted by the immense poverty in disadvantaged regions in Europe, Asia and Africa, Psy started to set up development aid program and recruiting qualified volunteers. The largest development program was in the province of Tlemcen, West Algeria, after the Algerian War Independence 1954-1962. Simone Tanner Chomet worked in Algeria as an Psy volunteer. From 1962 till 1968 Psy rebuilt the village Beni Hamu, set up a medical service and community development like primary teaching for the district of Sebdu. East-West Despite the Cold War Psy looked for an exchange Eastern Bloc. As non-communist organization, Psy volunteers took part in a work camp during Fifth World Youth Festival in Warsaw Poland, in 1955. From then on work camps were co-organized with Socialist Volunteer Organization in Poland 1955, GDR 1956, USSR 1958, Hungary 1964, Czechoslovakia 1964, and Bulgaria 1981. This contacts were intensified in the 70s. 1972 Psy set up East-West Commission in order to facilitate volunteer exchange and to improve cooperation with partner organizations in socialist countries. With the political shift in Eastern Europe new Psy initiatives started since 1990. Reorientation In a row of seminars, workshops and meetings from 1969 on, the political implication of Psy in society were reviewed. As consequence Psy abandoned the developmental aid approach as one of the main purpose of work camps. The social and political awareness rising for and through international volunteers got focus in most activities of Psy. In particular the North-South reorientate to the concept of development education and solidarity. Examples several international campaigns 1985 for the independence of Namibia were organized, which was followed by an international refugee campaign 1994 The reorientation led to further standardization in international volunteer exchange. In the late 1970s, a decentralized volunteer placement system for work camps was introduced, while the North-South and East-West exchange were centralized by European and international coordination of PSI. The latter was decentralized in the mid-90s. 
Topic: <laughs> International Working Groups 1997 With the reorientation in the 1970s, SI converted its structure with international and regional secretariats to an international coordination with working groups with focus on a particular region or interest area. In 1997 major constitutional change introduced a status for working groups, which are approved now every year. Regional working groups exists for Africa, Asia and Latin America and Southeastern Europe the other working groups focused on the following topics Immigration and refugee since 1970 such as the European Center for Immigration East-West Exchange since 1972 such as the Group of Action Together in Europe gate Gender issue since 1983 such as the WIN Conscientious objection 1984 to 1990 Youth and unemployment since 1985 YUWG North-South Exchange since 1987, such as the SEED Long-Term Volunteering since 1989, such as the LTRC Environmental Issues since 1998 Human Rights since 1998 List of SI branches and groups SI divides between full member with branches status and associated members with group status. The International Committee of SI decides about the status based on the national constitution, organization and infrastructure of its members. The national branches can have their own names, which they state, branch of SI, in their documents. The following tables gives an overview on all branches and groups of SI. The beginning of activities often refers to the first work camp organized by or in cooperation with SAI. Topic: Networking. The organization has consultative status with the Council of Europe, operational relations with UNESCO and as a member of CCIVS, Coordinating Committee of International Voluntary Service Organizations. YFJ Youth Forum Yoines. United for Intercultural Action, a European network against nationalism, racism, fascism in 1987, SAI was awarded the title of Messenger of Peace given by the United Nations, in acknowledgement of its efforts to promote peace and understanding. Full members' status is held to the European Youth Forum YFJ, which operates within the Council of Europe and European Union areas and works closely with both these bodies. Bibliography Ethelwyn Best, Bernhard Pike, International Voluntary Service for Peace 1920–1946, George Allen and Onwin, London, 1948 Arthur Gillette, One Million Volunteers, The Story of Volunteer Youth Service, Penguin Books, Harmonsworth, A Pelican Original, 1968, 258p. Online Eline Monastier, Alice Brugger, Pe, Pell et Pioche, Histoire du Service Civil International, Editions du Service Civil International, Switzerland, 1966 Sci, Service Civil International 1920-1990 7 Years of Voluntary Service for Peace and Reconciliation, Verdun, 1990 Notes Topic. External links SAI official website SAI peace related website International archives of SAI SAI official workcamps database